Hey guys, Thousand Time Gamer here, and today I'm going to show you how to videotape your iPod or iPhone. And your iPod or iPhone needs to be jailbroken and needs to have this app right here. We need to have this app called Screen Screen Splitter. S C R E E N S P L I T R. Not E R, just R. It should look like this. You can get it from IC or Cydia. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it from Rock, but I got mine from IC, and it should say on, and make sure it is on before you open up Safari, and then it should look like this. Okay, but also you need to have Safari, a version of Safari that has um, Bolger that's on it, and I'll show you what that is. So first, after it's on, and you have opened up Safari, you go to your bookmarks, Right here, and then you click the name of your iPod right here, and it should sound like so come up with this. Then on your iPod, it, it won't show up on the screen, but it say it should say remote the request accept connection from, and then it should say your IP address. And you press accept, and then this should come up. It's pretty cool. You can show your friends, or you can videotape it by using Cam Studio or Snagit 5.0. 5.0 that, that software that you can record, record anything that's on your computer screen but it's pretty cool but it's really laggy sort of when you play games it doesn't look laggy when you're swiping the pages left and right so it's good for like reading like the impossible quiz right here it's good for the impossible quiz cause, or the jokes because you don't have to play any games you're just reading basically but it's not it's not so good for games like roller coaster because that's pretty fast Amateur Surgeon it isn't bad because it's not that fast paced of a game. Um, Super KO Boxing 2, it will load, like, if, once you press a person to fight, it will load to, like, four punches, and it'll look like it will look like it worked on your iPod or iPhone, but it won't show up on your computer screen. Um, and it's good for, like, it has, it's basically good for reading apps, but not so good for gaming apps. So, only use it if you really have to record gaming apps. So, that's pretty much it. And once said it's pretty laggy, and but it's a pretty cool hack or cheat or glitch, whatever you want to call it. So thanks for watching and comment, rate, and subscribe.